Oh, hey. Didn't see you there. Did you hear about my friend Tom? Thomas Edison, that is. He was born on February 11th, 1847, in Milan, Ohio. Edison set up a chemistry lab and printing press on the A-train, displaying his interest in science at a very young age. In 1867, he worked as a telegraph operator in several cities in the Midwest and became a first-class press wire operator. In 1870, he moved to Newark, New Jersey and used his money from a contract with the Gold and Stock Telegraph Company and opened a telegraph manufacturing shop where he also conducted his inventive work. In 1876, he moved to Menlo Park, New Jersey and established his first full-scale industrial research lab combining electrical and chemical laboratories with an experimental machine shop. In 1879, Edison invented the carbon filament lamp and a direct current generator for incandescent electric lighting. In 1880 to 1882, he developed components for an electric lighting system for commercial use and set up a factory in none other than Menlo Park to manufacture electric lamps. Yo. In 87, Edison moved to a new lab in West Orange, New Jersey. After Alexander Graham Bell's invention of the graphophone in 1886, in 1888, he came out with a perfect design of the phonograph. In 1900, General Electric organized the first model research in his old men's laboratory, and Edison began to work on the storage battery for use in electric cars. In 1909, Edison marketed his outlying storage battery, which is used extensively in a host of commercial applications, after the market for electric automobiles declined. We have one. one. In 1927, he began an effort to find a natural substitute for rubber that could be grown and processed quickly in case of shortages caused by war. He settled on golden rod as the best material. On October 18, 1931, he died in Lowland Park, New Jersey, in a nation dimly slightly for one minute on the day of his funeral. Edison will be remembered as a fantastic inventor and holding 1,093 U.S. patents in his name, including the electric light, power utilities, phonograph, sound recorder, and motion pictures. By simply adding a vacuum and filament, he was able to make the bulb much more efficient and reliable. This also paved the way for electronic lighting, something many of us take for granted. Similar to the light is the motion picture by flashing images very fast, he was able to create the illusion of video. At one point, Edison invented a toy that was way ahead of his time. This toy was a talking doll. The doll used a mini phonograph inside to speak. In 1869, Thomas Edison received the patent for the electronic vote recorder. One incredible fact about him was that he only attended school for three months. In addition, Edison was actually a hero. He saved a three-year-old from being run over by a boxcar. This was an important event in his life because the child's father rewarded him by teaching him how to operate a telegraph. Edison spent the majority of the money he made on equipment for his experiments and laboratory. Edison could be compared to Elon Musk of SpaceX due to the fact that they both tried to do something seemingly incon inconceivable. Elon Musk is very determined to make space flight, space flight commercial, while Edison was determined to make electricity and the light bulb more efficient, which at the same time seemed impossible too. In addition, Elon Musk is also the CEO of Tesla Motors, which makes them even more similar.